Good day everyone. My name is Kunju Zwadumani. My research title reads as an indigenous knowledge system for promoting awareness of water resource issues. I'm from the Nelson Mandela University, South Africa. And my project supervisor is Professor Brenda Schools and co-supervised by Dr. Ife Oluapu Fashora. My research paper addresses the following outline water resource issues water shortage problem identified what shortfalls of the existing systems research opportunity followed by literature review theoretical connections for our indigenous knowledge system design then we proposed the indigenous knowledge design with its architectural design and then we end our presentation by looking at the concluding remarks. We are investigating water resource issues from the three aspects, which are environmental, financial, and knowledge. From an environmental aspect, we are looking at water usages and conservation. And then from the financial aspect, we're investigating also water payments and water pricing. From knowledge aspect, we are looking at promoting awareness of water resource issues and indigenous knowledge that is relevant or leads to water resource issues. Problem area. The current water landscape in South Africa has become a state of crisis due to number of factors that con contribute towards water shortage. That is the water shortage problem. South Africa is facing a challenge of water depletion which manifested during the so-called day zero at Cape Town. While the city of Cape Town was experiencing day zero, water shortage problem was also looming at the other parts of the country, such as Eastern Cape, the Nelson Mandela Bay municipality is also under threat of water depletion. The diagram of the, on the left hand side shows that in the future we shall experience water shortage if these contributing factors persist. Some of them include prolonged drought due to climate change and we would queue for water as shown on the left hand side. The identified shortfalls of the existing systems are the lack of awareness which is essential for water resource management. Many countries are not conscious of the role ICT can play as an enabler to raise awareness of water resources. The next identified shortfall is that there's a lack of proper ICT's governance which impacts investment as well as prevents a, stab a stable, coordinated and comprehensive planning in order to address future requirements for water management. The third identified shortfall is that lack of, there's a lack of interest in new technologies, particularly by underdeveloped countries or developing countries for, man for water management mainly because costs associated with these new technologies are perceived as unaffordable by these underdeveloped countries. And then the next identified shortfall was, that, was the lack of rhombus systems 
that can assist both end user and water managers where they could be empowered with a range of comprehensive and instantly available reports on water usage patterns. Research opportunity. Based on the lecture reviewed, none of the studies used indigenous knowledge to address water resource issues. Indigenous knowledge is transmitted from one generation to another through the word of mouth. This result in poor or lack of ind documentation of indigenous knowledge. Johnson and Johnson 1992 defined indigenous knowledge as a body of knowledge built up by a group of people through generations of living in close contact with that with nature we seek to promote awareness of water resource issues using indigenous knowledge the next slide should describe how are we planning to do that firstly we needed to review literature and identified appropriate technologies where this indigenous knowledge can be incorporated with. Literature reviewed pointed us to the appropriate technologies which are gamification and social technologies. We seek to develop a gamified social platform of indigenous knowledge system where we would engage citizens <coughs> on water resource issues, motivate them to, to participate in water usages and conservation, and inform citizens of water resource issues. In our design, <clears throat> we have adopted the socio-technical systems theory to provide guidance for our indigenous knowledge system design. Socio-technical system design is, is the most e extensive board of conceptual and empirical underlying work for application design. The adoption of a socio-technical approach to system development leads to systems that are more acceptable to end users and delivers better value to to stakeholders such as water authorities our proposed indigenous knowledge system design requires the understanding of water usages and conversation, conservation that can improve the environment and households financial bills while promoting individual and societal awareness. The design is constructed upon appropriate technologies as we have identified in the previous slide gamification and social technologies motivate citizens to participate in, a societ in societal issues such as water resource issues. The municipalities make use of the household's water meter data for billing purposes. At the bottom of the diagram, it shows the municip sorry, in South Africa, Water systems, the current water system does not engage citizens in their water usages. Citizens must wait for the month and cycle to access their water data. 
The key features for our indigenous knowledge system include social engagement, where citizens would engage in social forums and share their water-related social norms. It also includes monitoring of water usages and billing. Our proposed architectural design is comprised of four components. Which are what source of data, linked water data, data support service, indigenous knowledge application. At the bottom of our proposed architectural design, we're looking at the existing operational systems. These include existing household or water authorities, water meter for data monitoring. And then we've got linked water data. In South Africa, municipality data is linked with with electricity data. This linked data space enables municipality authorities to easily manage household water usages. In case of unpaid water bills, a municipality are enabled to use the water data and cut off the household Sorry, in case of an un, un, unpaid bills or unpaid water bills, municipality can use this electricity data and cut off water supply to that particular household. And then we've got also data support service. This component aims to simplify the consumption of water data and other linked data of the end user. This includes the search and the retrieval of the end user's data and present it in a in a simplified form. At the top of the architecture is an intuitive and a personalized indigenous knowledge application that utilized water data and knowledge that is relevant to and relates to actionable information such as water payments, water usages. Our concluding remarks, the paper addressed two objectives. One was to review and identify the shortfalls of the existing systems for promoting awareness of water resource issues. This is addressed under section 4.2 in the paper. Secondly, to propose the design of indigenous knowledge system for promoting awareness of water resource issues. This is also addressed under section 5.2 in the paper. Indigenous knowledge incorporated with appropriate technologies can present a cross-cutting platform for diverse citizens to promote societal awareness of natural and environmental issues. Our next step is to convert the proposed design into a mobile awareness application for engaging and empowering citizens with extensive water knowledge, particularly indigenous knowledge that is relevant to water resource issues. Thank you.